Okay, I've had a derailment of sorts. What in the hell? This thing just kind of fell apart on me. But now we're stuck with the Ozark Trail. Come on, man, on the real-time review, really? Don't do this. Don't this, you're just making it worse. Come on, dude. Are you serious, man? I will go back quicker than you Ozark Trail. Don't think I won't. Don't think just because I got to get this damn review done, I'm going to take down the cat's meow. Get off my hand! I'm at Lowe's. walking stick yeah it's called the ticks walking stick wolf tick nation thank you guys for tuning into once again another wolf tick videos episode on today's episode we are going to be going to everybody's favorite test track you know what track it is and we're gonna be doing it on the all new brand new ozark trail 29er mountain bike Remember, you guys have a nickname for this bike, put in the comments, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, because we're fixing to do a real-time review and put this thing through its paces, see if it holds up. All right, Wolf Tick Nation, let's get our gratuitous slow-mo out of the way, and let's get suited up and uh, start riding this thing. slow-mo this well people got to know the tick uses the bathroom on a, a certain occasions all right let's get this in all right guys here we go with the ozark trail nothing just the ozark trail we're going to uh, do a few laps here well probably just one lap in the uh, parking lot and we're gonna see what we can do to this thing today if uh, it's gonna hold up if it's not going to go ahead and put it down in the comments will this thing make it down everybody's favorite test track you let me know all right, now we're going to get this preload. This is something that Wolfman <laughs> enjoyed on the, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it on the Wolfman dyno. We're done with the Wolfman dyno. He was trying to mess with these and it really didn't do crap to the fork. So I'm gonna put those in the stiffest position on the preload. And what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna have to start going uphill over here, unfortunately, because there is no lockout, but this front is going to be playful, I know it. But right now we'll focus on the fork here in a little bit. We will mainly be focusing on the group set. And this thumb shifter is a ways out there, buddy. Let's go ahead and hit these brakes real quick. We're going to put the seat post up. It's a little bit higher. So the good news is, although this bike's recommended for riders, what, 5'7 to 5'11 or something like that, the seat post drops all the way down. I'm 5'5 and um, I still need to raise it up. So we do have enough travel in that seat post. Maybe if you're a little bit smaller, you can actually get to pedal this thing. But, um, you know, definitely recommended for riders a little bit taller. And this is a medium frame 29er. Um, hopefully we can find a small before we start upgrading this thing. Let's go ahead and see what, this, what she's got with the group set. L2, 9 speed, 11 to 42 tooth. Okay, so little funky with the thumb shifts we did tune this thing in i'm thinking that this group set will probably have a good amount of chain slot today but i think i'm in second gear right now the uh, display it is nice to have one i don't really use it but it's funny because i'm always like oh well all that shifter needs is a display and it'd really help out but this one here is kind of not lined up with the uh corresponding gears that is a cogs pretty hard shifts 
I mean, it's, it's shifting. I kind of have to shift ahead of time. I'm shifting right in the middle. Okay, we'll shift into second and third. First and second are still a little weird, but man, third gear's not bad. You know, we're talking about initial impressions. I haven't had, we haven't had really terrible luck with L2 stuff. Um, and this is probably their lowest of lines. I would imagine, I don't think I've seen an A5. Um, so we'll see how this thing treats us. But right now, it's not terrible. It does take a little getting used to because you've got such a throw on that thumb. It's like, you're going for a while before you hit that little bit of tension on the cable to shift. And if you guys are curious on any more of the info or in-depth kind of look at this bike, make sure you guys go back and check out the initial impressions. I think a lot of people initially, based off the thumbnail, thought it was a Ozark Trail vibe, but now it's just the Ozark, Bell, or Ozark Trail. All right, so bee's knees, definitely not terrible ride whatsoever. Um, decently comfortable so far. Again, this is a medium, it's a little bit sized out for me, but I don't feel small on the bike. Like I feel like I can control it pretty good. And we're not sure on the, um, the rear chainstay length, uh, well, we didn't measure it, but Wolf Mail is kind of right, everybody else is right. We're talking about the more playful and just more control. We'll see when we go down the trail coming up. But so far, it does feel like I'm very in tune with the rear end, like I can feel everything on the rear end. So it doesn't feel like a 29, or it kind of feels like a 27.5. So definitely one of the pluses is the, uh, the bar length. I think we've got 750s on this thing, approximately 750. These grips do feel really good. And it is a little muggy out here today. And what's nice is I don't feel them twisting or anything because they are double lock on. So big fan of that. They are thin, but they're quite, they're, they're a lot more comfortable than I thought they were gonna be. Um, the stem being a 60 millimeter, with a six degree rise is perfect. It doesn't feel like I'm hanging over the bike and it definitely doesn't feel like I'm sitting way behind the tire. It's a very comfortable bike. I'm curious if we do get our hands on a small, how much better it will feel. Um, but it definitely feels like I'm in control of this bike and that's what you want, you know what I'm saying? I've been on some bikes before, it felt like I was on the skyscraper. So this thing here, again, it feels like a 27.5, it's crazy. Um, another thing I'm a big fan of is all we have is two brakes and a shifter, right? Um, there's no type of dropper remotes or anything like that. There's no uh, um, front derailleur shifter up here. It's very clean, and that really, I think, helps out with the weight of the bike. It not having the three chain rings up front, uh, just the one down there, the 30 tooth, is awesome. Like, I'll take that all the time. That's usually one of the first upgrades we do on the channel is... Uh, we, we get rid of the three buys and all that added weight. I could use a 46 tooth, all right, for some of this climbing, but we can get by with a 42 tooth if you've got legs to do it. Um, so that's going to be all right, but we always want to change out the chain ring, and 30 tooth is the way to go. So I'm glad they went with the 30 tooth round. All right, let's talk about this fork. This fork is actually stiffening up on the flat surface, not so much in the climbing. Um, you know, we're, we're still climbing now, but it's not really locking up i'm still feeling a lot of suspension travel while we're climbing but on the flat stuff it's pretty firm so i could see this bike being a pretty good commuter bike you know it does feel decently solid let's go ahead and soften these guys up it's just crazy i don't know most of the time you could feel a difference on these well i think i finally hit a wall on this side this side won't go further it won't go to the left anymore this one here, on the other hand, is like just spinning. So that's pretty stiff right there. Let's go back to the right. Okay, so that's the problem with these preload knobs. Although this XCT, XCT 100 millimeters travel, I'm sure is pretty tough. This right here, this preload is already messed up. It won't go to the left and it won't go to the right, guys. It's already locked up. Um, and we're locked in a actually a pretty stiff position here that's very surprising we've used probably half of the travel this thing's only got 100 millimeters of travel but uh i was gonna try to soften it up even more because i'm not getting a lot of small bump feel out of it it's just kind of stiff on these flat parts but i think we're we're completely stuck now so that sucks not that the preload knobs usually work but i was kind of giving this one the benefit of a doubt pedals are quite comfortable although they're plastic these uh these RC shoes are actually gripping the pedals quite nicely. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to be a fan of this bike. Coming down this trail. We're almost to the trailhead. Uh, I'm going to be a fan of this, guys. 
I can already feel just in that short portion back there and those little pump sections back there, gaining speed is going to be super easy because it's like I'm sitting right on my back wheel. I see what the Wolfman was talking about now. I'm gonna get some climbing here. Okay. So we shipped it actually pretty quick up into first gear. And yeah, this thing definitely could use a little bit more, more tooth count on the cogs back there. And that fork is, for a quill fork is locked out. <laughs> Dude, what is going on back there? You Come on, dude. This L2 is a piece of is what the problem is. Oh my god. You know how hard it is not to just freak the hell out right now? It's acting like I crashed or something. doing here it's funny because i don't think i've ever had this much issues on a real-time review um and this is the second time you guys saw the open routes that's, that's completely different from this guys i'm gonna have to finish this damn review out not in first in second it looks like i can't go to first that's ridiculous <sighs> and it's still acting weird i don't know where the hell that came from guys you, you've seen this whole review so far it's not like I crashed, but now uh, we can't go to first gear. So that sucks. This bike's going to take a hit. I'm going to have to, I guess, count them. I don't know. This display is not, it's not lined up enough for me to be like, okay, I'm in second right now. I think I'm in third at the moment. So continue. Now we've got a chat room back out of nowhere. LT woo, is tripping. All right, now it's smoothed out in fourth gear. It was smooth in fourth and in in third. It's funny because we start doing these real-time reviews where we're actually gonna go through and make sure our levers are in a good spot, make sure the bike is tuned in, make sure the seat's in a proper spot, make sure <clears throat> everything is tight and the stem's good. We started doing that, we're having more problems than we did before. Uh, we're gonna see how these brakes do, we're gonna see how these tires do, and we're gonna see if I survive on this bike uh, because that, that group set's pissing me off. Um, I might just be rolling down here, but all right, guys, that's what we're going to do. Let's drop this seat down. That's as far as it goes down. Standing room only. Let's call Wolfman. Let's talk to him about it before we start. Um, I'm at the top and I'm about to ride the Ozark Trail. Uh, seat post is down, standing room only. Damn group set is a piece of sh I've got to stop cussing on these things. Group set is doo-doo. Thank you. All right, love you. I'll see you when I get to the bottom. All right, love you. Watch your mouth. Can't cuss on these radios, apparently. Here we go. All right, guys, real-time review. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you ain't a part of the Wolf Tick Nation. See this drop down, uh, and it could be a lot further. I, would, I wish it was a lot further. That little bit of... Oh, don't you start. I got to be in fifth gear right now. This thing was going to be a fast roller. What the? What is going on back there? All right, let's talk about this bike. Okay, front end actually feels pretty stiff right now, but I'm rowing the crap out of it uh, because these tires are super fast and that positioning of that rear wheel is perfect. Ooh, a little manual action. Uh, it's just such a, it's in a really good spot. Like I can feel the bike completely underneath me. Every single part of the trail and the tail end I can feel. That front end, this bike's just about, ooh. Bike is kind of like a damn rigid right now because that front's so stiff. Okay, tabletop, good and clear. They kind of ruined this, that one. Yeah. Oh dude, that one. Yeah. Oh dude, way, way too far back. I was getting used to a, like a 29er style. This son of a gun almost made me do a damn front flip. Messed up my camera. I mean a back flip. Dude, sloth cam, how you doing down there? Wow, I was so far back right now. Is that because the geometry of this bike? I'm sure old Chris H can, can give me an answer on that at the shed. Um, 
there's no room back here. We talked about this. Look at this. I mean, it's super close. I almost did a backflip right now. Crazy. Uh, we got a 100 millimeter travel fork. We measured out the stanchion to be 130 and we got an oil line right here. We were off about 20, so I think we're getting about 110 millimeters of travel. I'm gonna try to bomb the sucker out in the spot between the trees. Bike's holding up okay, except for that damn group set. That is pissing me off big time. I can't even get full pedal stroke and potential out of this thing. All right, we got the famous spot between the trees. My camera position's all jacked up now. The brakes did okay. <laughs> I had to slow them down a little bit. Okay, we bombed that fork out now, baby. All right, come on. Give me something. Let's do this. This bike is just like kind of falling apart. Now the damn crank set feels weird. Oh, oh. All right, we got the tire test area. Woo, tire test area. Oh, shoot. Definitely faster the corner. I could not hit that. I could hit that though. I'm just like so back heavy on this bike, guys. I don't know what it is. It's, it's playful in the back. And I can kind of dig down them corners. I like that. But the front is kind of just all over the place. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, those, uh, those tires are doing fine. These brakes are okay. The levers actually feel really good on the fingers. We've been doing a lot of uh, brake stuff here recently. And these brakes aren't bad. You know, I mean, they could be better. But the levers, you know, is usually where it starts. <sighs> okay. So the crank set started all over right now. I don't know if that was the chain slipping off the chain ring um, or exactly what it was, uh, but that group set is gone. Look at the dork disc. That dork disc is trashed. It is just all over. That's terrible. That's bad. Back here just keeps on clicking. I can feel it in the shifter. It's wanting to jump out of gear. Um, just bad, man. I mean, this thing is going to need some money put into it the seat post will that's as much as it'll drop we can cut that thing again this is a medium hopefully we can get our hands on a small sooner or later um the bike held up going down but uh, it's just it's missing a lot you know what i mean it, it doesn't feel nearly as tight down here as it did uh down at the bottom of the parking lot it's yeah it's uh it's hurting my feet stuck pretty good to the pedals. Let's go back to Wolfman. Let's go talk to him about this bike in the real-time review. And let's uh, let's hear his input, what he has to say. It's going to start raining here in a little bit. But... All right, guys, hey, we just got done with the real-time review of the Ozark Trail. Definitely needs a lot of money put into this bike. We thought that this bike was going to be pretty damn good and pretty salty right out of the gate, something that you could kind of stretch out over time, kind of a long-term project. But it turns out it's not. That A5 sucks. That thing is terrible. Not only did it derail on me, it derailed on me two times after doing nothing to it. I wasn't shifting or anything. It just fell apart. I would have been back about 20 minutes ago. <coughs> Good nap. Now, this fork. We talk about how tough these things are all the time. This is done, look. That preload knob is done. You want to talk about lockout? This is probably the best lockout I've ever felt on a fork because it's like broke or something. It's got oh, no- it's, No, it's moving. Is it moving? Yes, yeah, it's, it's super stiff up there. The bike overall, as far as the, the comfort and the reach and the bar width, the, the seat even, the pedals, all that stuff is comfortable. They've done such a good job with that. The looks of the bike, they've done good. Ozark Trail, I do appreciate you guys trying to get us a free hub and getting us an LT woo, uh, group set, but that something needs to be thrown away. We need a uh, uh, AX11 or a 12 on a this bike. A12. A12, we need one on this bike. Uh, man, kind of a disappointment in some, uh, some parts of this bike, but for the most part, I think it's a good project bike if you've got some money coming out the gates. I think the best thing is not only the way it feels, right? This is a medium, I'm only 5'5", uh, not only just the way it feels sitting on this bike, but it's just super fast. I mean, dropping my butt on the pump sections, you called it with the chainstay length. Mm -hmm. It is just directly right there. Beautiful. I can 
This thing is so easy to gain speed on. It's super playful in the rear end. You were right about that. That and the brake levers, the radius brake levers, them suckers are actually pretty nice because they're good and thick. The brakes probably could use a little bit of help. Maybe some bigger rotors, some different calipers. But uh, who knows what we got planned for this bike, guys. Hopefully we can get a small before we start throwing upgrades at this bike. <clears throat> But really, just hanging this thing up in the shop and letting it collect a little bit of dust until we can get our hands on the small uh, would not upset me whatsoever. But Wolf Tick Nation, we are out of here. It was everybody's favorite trail. Please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Uh, let us know what you thought, man. This bike was going places. I think it still can be, but again, we're just going to have to throw a little bit of money It needs at it. more out the gates than we thought. It needs more out the gates than we thought. That fork's trash, and so is that group set. But all right, guys, until next time, we will hey, see ya. At least the wheel set's good. Yeah, the wheel set's good, and it's quick release. So, hey, we're on to something. All right.